Hey, what's up everyone? We finally made it back out mountain biking. <laughs> Today's a big day. Uh, it's the first time riding in almost seven months, so I'm really, really stoked to get out here. And the place we're at is called Wilson Creek. Um, this is kind of like full on Idaho, as April would say. <laughs> it's just out in the middle of the desert, lots of big rocks and really cool scenery. And it's one of the few places you can kind of legally ride an e-bike. So yeah, just really excited to be out here. The route we're gonna do today is about two miles up the fire road. We're gonna go real slow, pedal up that, and then work our way to a trail called Bingo, which is a fun flowy trail, and end up at this really gnarly section called Jacob's Ladder. And I'm kind of I'm kind of nervous about that one, honestly. I've only ridden here one time, and that section's pretty rough, and then April's never been here, so it'll be an adventure to say the least. After that, we'll kind of wrap our way back to the car, and it should be a good hour and a half ride, and just, yeah, so excited to get back out finally and, and be riding. You excited? Yeah, I've never been here and these rocks look amazing and it's nice, the sun is out, so I'm just excited to check out new trails. <laughs> We're gonna hop on the bikes and start riding up the hill and to see how it goes. Ready? Yeah. Cool. The climb up the road takes on average about 20 to 30 minutes on a normal bike and it varies between a 2 to 12% grade. We had the company of our two friends Kevin and Chad on the first part of the climb and it was really nice to catch up with them. It felt so good to be back outside and I couldn't wait to get up the top of the trail. <laughs> you go first. Okay. Bingo is about two miles long and is more of a fast and flowy blue trail. This suits Kyle and I well since we both like going fast. <laughs> there is also something so satisfying about flowy trails that really makes you feel connected to your bike and the ground. Toward the bottom of the trail, it starts to get a little rocky, which makes for a perfect progression in the trail. After a few rocks, I remembered pretty quickly that the e-bike is heavier in the front and went a little nose heavy on a few of them. <laughs> I should have gone faster for that roll. Oh my God, it feels so good. Ah! <laughs> Who's having fun? <laughs> I just wanted to be renegade for a minute. I'm bummed I missed that, the bigger jump. Oh, it's okay, it was kind of kicky. Was it? Yeah. yeah, I wasn't sure it looked. Feels good. That's good. After bingo, we headed over to a black diamond trail called Jacob's Ladder. This trail has a lot of technical rocks with a loose and steep chute in the middle. It also ends with a couple of gnarly rock features that are rollable, but pretty sketchy. it looked rollable so this is a steep little section or oh. you can go right there oh why am i following you here <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna i'll hit the steep section you want to get a clip of me hitting this part sure okay Yeah, it's so pretty here. <laughs> you like it? I like rocks. All right, so April's gonna come down through there. Come around this turn, through the rocks. Nice chunky rocks, and then there's another drifty turn, drifty turn, and then we'll see what ends up happening there. And then she'll stop for sure between those two, or just before that. You got this. Nice and smooth. So loose out here. You 
keep going. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's slick. All right, so Chad just went through and basically he went around the left side of this rock and then rolled over there. The other line, there's kind of two lines. So one of these lines is to gap off of this rock and try to clear that guy. Or you could kind of roll this one, but it's pretty close to hitting your, your bottom bracket. So I'm gonna try the gap, see if I can get it. But I'm actually nervous. I was thinking about it all last <laughs> night, but I've done it on my other bike. So uh, I think it'll be fine. It's just the e-bike has a little extra weight going down the hill. But we'll try it out and see what happens. Don't force anything. You did it. I did it. <laughs> yeah, it felt good. It was, uh, it's been a long time since I was scared of something. And I know that that's like something somewhat small and I've done it before, but it's just a little bit scary with, uh, not knowing the bike totally and still trying to get used to it, but it felt good. After both surviving our attempts at the Black Diamond Trail, we ended up climbing out in this really cool technical section called China Wall. This trail is definitely a pedal eater. There's a lot of big rocks lining the trail and timing your pedal strokes is super difficult, but very rewarding once you do it right. Oh. That's gonna make me look down. <sighs> Once we got up and out of the gully, we ended up pedaling through the desert on this really cool route, which took us through these beautiful rock formations on the way back to the car. <laughs> There's some really cool history out here in the desert. After pedaling for a while, we ended up on top of this huge rock outcropping that overlooked the parking lot, and there was a steep little trail winding its way down to the car. Just follow me and I'll just go kind of slow until we get to the open section and then you can just no break it. Okay. It's really fun. The top of this trail is actually pretty steep and technical, but the dirt was so good that you had plenty of traction. Once you made this final right-hand turn, it just ended up being wide open all the way down to the car, and I think you had to be going close to 40 miles an hour by the end. I really don't know if you could ask for a better way to end the ride. That's fun. <sighs> yeah, that was super fun. <laughs> <laughs> Let's call it a day. Okay. No crashes today. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah. All right. We just got done with an awesome day of riding. How did you think it was? It was so awesome. It was really pretty and sunny and a lot of fun. Yeah. Lots of rocks. Lots of rocks. I love rocks. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. It felt so good to get back out finally. And the e-bike was amazing. Um, my goal was basically just kind of keep my heart rate under 130 the whole time. And yeah, it just felt so good. It was so nice. And I had so much fun going down the trail. It's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got a photo. I was just smiling. So yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just glad to have mountain biking. It's an awesome outlet. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you ever find yourself passing through Boise in the middle of winter with a bike, then this is a cool little spot you can come and check out. Overall, it was a super awesome day. Glad to be out here riding and can't wait to do another video with you guys and go on another ride. Yeah, for sure. Thanks for watching and thanks for sticking by us and see you next time. See you guys later. <laughs>